Hey, sugar. How y'all doing? Um, I want to first say good morning, good morning, good morning, and I miss you guys. And I know I've been gone for a couple of days, but taking some time off and um, spending it with my boo and my children, and um, he been spoiling my ass rotten. I can honestly say that. Um, but I said today um, I'm up and about. And I was going to come in and say hey and just talk to you guys for a few minutes. Um, I'm on my way back from dropping my daughter off at work. And um, I'm headed back home to climb in my bed if I don't detour and stop in somebody's store like I always do. But um, this is what my hair looked like, y'all. I haven't combed it. I got up, left it in the mushroom, and just finger combed it a little bit and said bump it okay no makeup i got on lip gloss who does that no makeup but lip gloss got to make sure the lips are a little moist don't want them to be cracked and all that old foolishness but um i uh want to say good morning to all my new subscribers and i want to say a what's up and i hey sugar to all my old subscribers and uh y'all it is way back wednesday yes it is now i want to say this do y'all remember back in way back in the day when you could sit back and leave your doors unlocked and don't have to worry about whether you some dumb dumb gonna come walk in your house unannounced or unwanted? We used to sit back, open the uh, the big door and leave the screen door wide open, and just sit there all night long. Sit out on the porch. Go to sleep with the screen door, just the screen door, you know. No, don't have to close the other door. And um, everybody used to watch out for everybody, you know. Back in the day, that's how it used to be. It's not like that no more. Now, um, you might can find that in particular areas. You know, people that have lived in a certain neighborhood for an awful long time, they may still, you know, have those same qualities. But when you get all these old funny style people move in and just you got people these i call them the new generation nuggets you know you know all the nuggets in the tray ain't the same you know some of them a little different some of them a little real different but you got some good ones in there but you got to really find them you know so when you got those kind of people i don't know i feel some kind of way about it and that's just my opinion but you still i still be like okay um Hey, good morning. And if they don't speak, that's on them. You ain't got to speak. I did my part. But you got a lot of kunk nooks out here, y'all, that don't, that don't, mm -mm. It's just not like they don't have any manners or no, no nothing. But um, way back in the day, we used to have good time. We used to have, you know, somebody got a pot of neck bones on and some cornbread and some greens. It used to be enough to feed a whole, about two or three dozen people. It depends on what size pot you can cook. Now, it being my grandmama, yeah. I don't want to get started. But it used to be like that. You know, just people come over and eat and have a good time and relax. And you sit back and hee hee and ha ha about all kinds of things. But now, people come to your house, they looking at them. Ooh, where they get that from? And ooh, how they get that on what they make? Ooh, ooh. And I'm like, um really okay you keep ooing yeah you keep on because i am ooing all the way to the bank okay i am ooing every day that i wake up but god give me breath in my body and i look back at some of the things that i have gone through and some of the things that people that i know have gone through and i look at where they are now glory to god i thank you lord because you didn't have to do it you know, because we all ain't living right, shoot, if you want to say it. But, you know, make it some type of improvement or do it. You got to keep God in your mouth. You got to seek his word. And I'm doing that. I'm, I'm doing, I know I could do better. I know I could do more. But um, I'm going to get there, y'all. Y'all just keep praying for me and I'm going to keep praying for y'all. So, it is what it is. And it's to, today is another day and we're going to see what it holds. Um. Yesterday, I don't want to call it terrible Tuesday. It was tested. My tested Tuesday. My patience and everything got tested on yesterday. 
But you know what? I feel like I did a pretty good job of handling whatever. And um, I'm here today, Lord. I thank you. It didn't destroy me and it didn't make me lose my mind. You know? Thank you, God. And um, I want to... Um, I know y'all might have saw on one of my other videos my what you say moment. And I don't even know if y'all can see me because it is the way the sun is. But um, my what you say moment for today is I was watching the Tom Jordan the Morning Show, y'all. And this is some crazy-ish right here. But I wasn't watching it. I was listening to it. Let me correct that, okay? They mentioned about a judge. And I don't know if anybody else heard this but me. A judge went to visit a prisoner and she wound up having sex with the dude and he's 21 years old had sex with the dude in the interview room um wow that's what I can say about that one wow a judge okay it doesn't separate you from being a female and, and being a human and having feelings but you done seriously crossed the line when you screwing this dude in the interview room. Um, I don't know if you realize they have cameras. Um, that they, uh, I don't know. But you got in, she got in some serious trouble. Old girl is going to J-A-I-L. Do not pass go and do not collect $200. She is going to jail. Now, I'm saying she going to jail. That don't mean it. Because you know what? Uh, look at George Zimmerman, the dude that killed Trayvon Martin. Yesterday made one year that he has been dead, has been gone. And this dude is still fighting his case. He is still um, throwing up new motions and he keeps switching lawyers. And, you know, when you switch a lawyer, they, they got the opportunity to go because this new lawyer got to get up to speed on what's going on. So, yeah, he pushing his case back further and further and nothing has happened yet. But you got to look at the fact that his father is is in the court system or used to be in the court system. Whatever his his job title may have, may have been, he know what to do and how to do it and get away with it. And so, yeah, we're going to see how this pan out. Because um, um, they mentioned yesterday that he shot him center mask in his chest in the heart. That's wrong on so many levels. It's wrong that he shot him, period. That it's wrong how he pursued him. But um, how can you claim, I don't know, I don't know, that you didn't do anything wrong? First of all, you nobody told you to be a vigilante and go out and just because this dude got on a hoodie and for you to go behind him and, and do all. Okay, um, I'm going to need you to sit your soul all the way down. Take a seat. Get you a pot of coffee. Get off of them um, five-hour energy drinks that's keeping you awake. So you sitting it, uh, yeah. You need to come down to earth. You need to detox. You need to do a whole lot of things. Relax, relate, release, and just let it go. It ain't that serious. It's not that serious. It really isn't. It's some crazy stuff going on, y'all. And I, I keep my children close. I do. Even my grown kids. Yeah, they able to. And I don't people might be like well your kids still live at home and you holding them hostage and you stopping them from doing i ain't stopping my kids from doing a god darn thing because they can come and go as they please but i do have rules in my house you're not gonna come in my house no three or four o'clock in the morning i'm gonna tell you that right now because the only thing open is somebody's legs and you're getting ready to get yourself in trouble and you ain't bringing me home no midgets and i'm here to tell you now, when you get to that stage where you want to start doing all that kind of stuff, it's time for you to put your name and your address on your own residence, not in my house. I can't stop y'all from having sex. If you're going to have sex, protect yourself. I'm all for that. You get you two or three Jimmy hats and slide them on. Females, too. Get you some birth control. Get you some foam. Get you a Nora plant, an IUD, whatever it is. And make sure your nigga washing his butt. Don't be around here dating all these old dirty, dusted, dingy, double duty behind niggas when they pants hanging down and you look and see they drawers in their butt and they dirted in the road outside. That ain't the kind of nigga you want to lay down with because if he don't care about his ass being clean, he sure ain't going to care about his dick being clean. Plain and simple. Because to me, they go hand in hand. Hell, you got the white one, you got you see the other one. 
if you can't wash your ass, you damn sure ain't gonna keep the other one clean. That's the way I feel about it. Hey, I tell them quick, buy your little, I'm, I'm like, get your little soap, um, keep your little something in your book bag when you, if you're going to sleep with a female, keep you some baby wipes or something in there. Um, if you don't want to get in her shower, get, make sure you clean your stuff off. Make sure her stuff clean, because she ain't got no business spreading her legs and it's smelling like you out down at the uh, Duval County Fishery. Uh, yeah. No. Mm-mm. It, it shouldn't smell like a dead body. It shouldn't smell like none of that. It shouldn't smell like the inside of somebody's ass either. No. Keep you some baby wipes, females. Keep you some baby wipes or some of those feminine cloths to wipe your stuff. Even use a little liquid soap. You in the bathroom, uh, before you go sit down on the toilet, you in a public bathroom, get your paper towel wet it, put a little liquid hand soap on there, and uh, when you use the bathroom, and you sit down and your eyes buck like that, yeah, you stink. Get some of that tissue and a little soap, wet it, and wash a little bit. Kind of get a, get away from that little funk. It'll do you some good. Because you never know, you might run up on a dude that you might want to give a little bit to. And keep you some rubbers in your purse. Keep all that. Keep you a couple of pair of panties rolled up real tight in a little Ziploc bag with a little bit of soap. Go get you a little trial size soap. All that old good stuff. Your purse is big enough to put a baby in anyway. So put all that little stuff in there. They ensure that you be uh, fresh and clean. And, you know, make a nigga want to go down there and take, have a little taste. Something. But you don't want to be around here. You got on a skirt and this nigga standing across the room and he smell your butt all the way over there. Uh uh. Mm mm. And any man that do smell your behind and he still want to go down there, that's the one. Something wrong with him. Something wrong with him. Because uh uh. Something ain't right. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Always wash y'all. Period. I know here, and look, the chunkier I get, the more I be like, oh, uh-uh. Like right up under your breast, women, y'all ever had that problem where you start to sweat? And I don't sweat that often, but when I do, I be like, no, it's time to go get in the shower. Um, I get my peppermint soap on my rag, and I get to wash them. Then I, I wash with my black soap, yeah. And then I wash with my caress. I sure do, every night. Any time of day I feel like I don't feel If I start to feel sticky We be standing outside and it's hot or whatever I go get in the shower And I think the Lord my water bill ain't real high Cause I get in there in a minute I just can't do it y'all And then you know when you're a chunky girl And try to keep stuff I get in a squat sumo squat position And I, that's, I wash and I scrub I do I wash and I scrub till my butt is so I wash and I scrub I sure do Get it all off and then after I dry off, I even put a little lotion. Yeah, I sure do. Moisturize my butt, all of that. Keep myself clean and fresh. I just, I, I stay on my girls about that. Y'all be young women. Always be mindful of how you look and how you smell. That's a bad thing. You don't want to do that. You, you, mm -mm. You don't want to be the, the center of nobody's attention with a look like you got a green foam around you. No, you don't want to be that. That's a bad thing. Now, with that being said, I know some women have a high pH balance. And they, you know, sometimes you might have a little odor that you can't control. I understand that. I'm all for going to the emergency room, the doctor's office, the gynecologist, whatever to find out what it is. If you got to eat yogurt two or three times a day to get rid of that yeast, there you go. Even put a little bit of plain yogurt, the unflavored yogurt, put a little bit on a rag down there and wash it. Or either douche with it. It'll get rid of that. Yeah, it will. Yes, it will. Mm-hmm. It will. It'll get rid of it. Do whatever you can to help yourselves. My what you say moment. Old girl say this dude been locked up a little bit and he he probably can handle what I need. And um she just done went there and got her a little bit in the interview room. You know, women, I'm all I'm all woman, okay? I love to be taken care of for my needs to be met. Do you hear me? But oh my goodness. Help me keep my mind, Lord, because I just pray that I never ever lower myself like that for a piece of meat if I have to go get me a dildo or something and I know they don't feel like 
the real thing. But you got to do what you got to do sometimes to hold on to your self-respect and your morals. You got to do something. I don't know. I don't know. But then um, they also mention, and this is sad, <clears throat> about uh, um, two children. I don't remember what their ages are, but they uh, went missing from their daycare. And the person that took them was their grandmother. Now, grandma has a mental problem, and they say she had a gun. But authorities found these children dead. They were dead. I don't remember how old they are. If y'all want to go to Tom John the Morning Show and look it up, um, you can find out what I'm talking about because they only gave bits and pieces of the information when I was listening. Um, but they found the two little children dead and they found the grandmother dead. Y'all, a mind is, it, it, and it sounds like cliche, but you have to hold on to your mind, y'all. I'm serious. You you got to be mindful of of the things that you say, the things that you do. Some people have mental illnesses and they can't do a darn thing about it. And I understand that. So just keep a watchful eye out. Um, the times get hard, they get rough. Let me ride up here. Rainbow might be open, y'all. I said I wasn't going to go, but y'all see I don't switch from one thing to the next. My husband don't have to be to work till 12, so it is going on 9 a.m. It is 8.56 in the a.m., so I can kill at least an hour and a half and then come back home. Because I got my little girls off to school, and Corey is knocked out. So the three boys are home and everybody else is gone. Janae's gone to school. Um, and I just dropped Ashley off to work. And um, so I'm going to get my day started. I'm not, I, I don't know. I'm just going to look. Should I go in there? Cause I know me. I don't. I don't have self restraint, y'all. When it comes to spending money, I don't. I really don't. I think I'm gonna turn around and go back home. <laughs> Cause I know if I go in there and I see something for my little girls, I don't buy Corey stuff like that. I'll get him some shorts, or I'll go to Burlington and get him some. You know, they have the little T-shirts with different sayings on them. I found him some shirts in TJ Maxx called. Um, the people that make it, they're called Chinese Laundry. And I absolutely love the way they make those shirts. And um, they just some cute little striped shirts that he can wear with shorts or jeans. And um, I like stuff like that. Now, I do go and buy polo shirts, um, which I had already bought him like eight or nine polo shirts. And they had them on sale at the polo at Ralph Lauren. There's an outlet here in um, St. Augustine, Florida. And um, they had them on sale for $9.99. They were half off. Um, so I bought, you know, several of those. I don't do the... Um, I haven't bought any with the collars on them yet. But I bought the t-shirts like... Cause He's got some of the collar shirts, but I saw some in uh, TJ Maxx that I want to go back and get. But I want to wait until they re, you know, re up on they they sizes because they had them in three. Even though he's two, Corey got a pot belly and he's got wide shoulders, so I used to get him like a um, a four T. That way, if I wash it, it won't shrink, and he can get a little wear, a little extra wear out of it in some room. And um. So, I usually go and buy stuff like that for him. But my girls, I'll go in Family Dollar in a minute. Family Dollar, Walmart. Those little shirts be for, um, $350. Um, what is it? $350, $497, and $697. Those little, I call them decorative tees. They have different little sayings and stuff like that. I love them things for my little girls. Because you can get some cute little shorts, some little jean shorts, and all kind of little stuff. You can... You can make a whole outfit for less than ten dollars. 
Um, I did go to TJ Maxx and I got some jeans for my girls. Um, cause Jalen is just growing. She's eight, but she she's the smallest thing in her class. But she um has outgrown all of her jeans. And yes, I just pulled in my driveway, y'all. I meant that. I turned around and came back, cause uh uh. <laughs> I know me. Like I say, I ain't gonna lie. I don't have no restraint. My husband got mad with me so much the last month. Because, you know, we we try to save money during the year for our anniversary. And especially since I haven't been working. So, I don't since I haven't been working, I don't get an income tax. So, I had to make sure um, that um, I saved some money. But I don't know if I went through that, y'all. I ain't lying to you. And he was like, Teresa, you got to stop spending. You got to stop spending. You got to stop spending. I can't help it. Because that's what I'm used to doing this time of year around my anniversary. I usually spend for myself. Buy whatever it is I want. And I mainly spend it. I did buy some things for myself. But I did shop for the house. And with this being Janae's last year in school. I did some extra, extra stuff for my baby. So, um, yesterday she said we were going to have her a graduation party. She says she don't want a graduation party. She want to have a birthday party. So, my children's birthdays are in March. Yeah, I'm going to be so busy in March, y'all. It's straight ridiculous. Starting March 13th is Corey's birthday. Then March 14th is Janae's birthday. Then my husband's birthday is March 15th. Isn't that something? Then March 28th, which is two weeks after that, is my son Darian's birthday. Then I have a, a little, a few days of peace. Then April 10th is Ashley's birthday. Then I have a break until July. But I have a break as far as birthdays. But I got all of this on my plate. Now that's the birthdays, not including Janae has prom coming up. She has grad night coming up. She has, okay, prom, grad night. Um, then she's got her, you know, graduation ceremony. Um, her, She wants to have a birthday party. Of course, I did mention that. Um, and then in June is when we're going to plan our family trip that my husband and I usually plan for our anniversary, but we're going to wait until it warms up. And, um, so that'll be the family trip. Um, so we got all of that coming up. The family trip, graduation, prom, birthdays. I'm taking donations, y'all. <laughs> Got to be more careful. I'm like, O-M-G. I was sitting to the table. I had to get me a notebook with some paper and a pen and write this stuff down. Because I'm like, oh my word. Here we go. Here we go, Corey. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. So we planning it all out. Um, She wants to have her birthday party in a big place. She don't want to have it at home. She wants it to be a teen party. So, um, that means um, we can't invite family that's over a certain age. It's only for teenagers. And, of course, me and my husband will be there because I don't do that one right there. Um, and we have, we'll have some chaperones because I told you never was get in the cone and hike up a skirt on me. Mm-mm. Not -mm. uh. So, with this being her last year in school, and um, I will have a break for a long time dealing with prom and graduation and stuff. Because then my other three, hey, Jalen just in the second grade. So, I'll be good for a good while. Um, so, she's changed her colors again as far as her corset and her um, skirt. The skirt is going to continue to be black. And silver but she's taking out the purple and the green and she's gonna do change she's gonna get another corset because I'm having with her the type of bra that I want her to wear with that corset 
Mm -mm. I can't find it. And I'm not doing the titty city bras. I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. No. So I told her, you need to get a corset that's going to cover your stuff. Because I'm not going out to no Victoria's Secrets and get you no push-up bra and half your nipple showing. I'm not doing that. No. No. And hell no. I'm not doing that. So, I got to take her back to Subculture to get... A, she's going to exchange her corset for another one. And I changed the color to all black and silver. Um... And we're going to go from there. That's going to be the last and final time. Because we just took her to get her uh, measurements done. Because they started um, working on the skirt today. So I'm glad I called and got that squared away with the colors. Um, I don't know how she's going to wear her hair. Um, so we're going to see. Um, I still got to pay for cap and gown. And... What was it? Cap and gown. And I paid for. It's cap and gown and something else. Um, I still got to pay for. Um, it's some kind of paper she got to get to fill out before she can pay for one of them things. So I don't know why they're making everything so complicated these days. It's ridiculous. But, um,. Ooh, I am at 26 minutes, y'all. I'd have been talking my behind off. But anyway, y'all, my plate is full. And um, I had my what you say moment. You know, the judge having sex with the dude. The, the lady, you know, her mind was bad in some way that she felt like that was her only, only alternative was to take her life and her grandchildren's lives. Um, it's so much going on in the media. That you can sit and talk for hours about it. And um, it's, it's just sad. It's sad. And um, I wish you guys the best. Y'all, I want to say this. I have a new sister. And she is of the Caucasian persuasion. And I love you, girl. Debt free forever. And... Um, I look forward to chit-chatting with you. You're going to have to find some other kind of way to contact me besides through YouTube. And um, that way we can get to know each other. And she was like, can I be your sister? Yes, you can be my sister. You know, God put people in your lives, y'all. And, you know, all you can do is trust somebody until they show you that they can't be trusted. And that's just the way life is. And um, I don't know what road I'm going in life. But whatever it is, I pray that I stay on the road that God has given me. And um, I just wish y'all many blessings, love, peace. And may this Wednesday, a wide open Wednesday, way back Wednesday, whatever you wild Wednesday, whatever you want to call it. I just pray that your day be blessed. I love y'all. Um. Y'all just don't know. God is good. He is good. He's he's good. Um, I am feeling so good right about now. Um, I just thank him for this moment in life. And um, E Boise baby, I love you, girl. Um, Sarita, Vicky, both of my Vickies, um, uh, I haven't talked to Margaret in a while, my big sister Stephanie, um, my sugar bees, Lisa, um, Thrifty Queen Bee, that's my natural sister, hey boo, with your pretty self, um, Asia, um, who else, y'all? Y'all know my mind shorter than a, a toothpick. <laughs> I be having so much I want to say. And I be trying to remember everybody's names. But I can't remember everybody's names like that. I'm going to just have to keep me a sticky note with me at all times. That way I can just read down the list. And I'm not, I, I'm not doing this to put nobody on front street. 
I'm doing this because y'all are in my thoughts every day. Um, y'all choose to connect with me. And that's my way of saying, hey, sugar. And that I'm thinking about you. Um, so, guys, I'm, I'm still, you know, my days away from making videos. What I'm doing is I'm watching y'all videos. Even if I don't comment, I watch and I'm learning a lot. Um, and I'm also working on some t-shirts. So I've got three shirts completed. And um, until I can buy my equipment myself, y'all, they're going to cost about $30. Ain't that some crap? Unless I can get at least six people to purchase a shirt. If I can get six people to purchase a shirt, that brings the price of each shirt down. But if I order one shirt, it's going to cost me about $30. Isn't that awful? But I'm going to keep looking. And um, so y'all let me know if you want to get a shirt. Um, contact me if you want to get a shirt. Because I want to be able to send y'all pictures of the shirts. Um, one is Hey Sugar. One is Love Peace and Blue Duchess Hair Grease. The other one is What You Say. Um, then there's Domestic Diva. Um, there's Petite Diva, there's, um, Chocolate, there is, um, what else, um, hmm, Smooches, there is, um, it's on the tip of my tongue, um, do do what is it it's on the tip of my tongue and i i say it all the time designer original there we go designer original so um those are just some of the things um that i'm working on and um like i said i need six people that would like a shirt to hit me up and I can give you, I think if you, I think it's $16 or some change when I order six or more. Um, but it has to be the same shirt, you know, they're not letting you split it up, but I'm going to go back online. My son was, you know, he, he does graphic design and one of my uh, girlfriends in Houston, she's starting her own business. So, um, she has him designing her logo for her. And so between him designing the logo and me doing t-shirts and um, we having we got one computer. My other computer kicked me in the behind y'all. I was so mad. So I'm having to share my computer with my daughter. Um, 